What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'll be teaching you guys how you can recreate this crazy looking block 3D letter effect. It's just a really cool intro title card effect that you can use for your music videos or vlogs or any other projects alike. It's been used a lot before in videos like this. And of course it can be added onto and edited more and just create these insane looking title cards and intros. We'll just be recreating some chrome block letters that will just be floating in your scene. It's a really super easy effect to recreate and today we'll just be using After Effects and the Video Copilot Element 3D plugin. Element 3D is a paid for plugin, but of course there's always workarounds or I'm pretty sure you can crack it if you have to. I don't recommend cracking it and if you do try it, it's at your own risk. But this is the plugin that we'll be using to recreate this effect. If you guys are new to this channel, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you find this content interesting. It really helped and mean a lot to this channel. Also remember to follow us here on Instagram at 11%prod for future updates on tutorials like this or to let us know on any future ideas that you'd like to see us recreate. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. All right, guys, so now that we are finally in After Effects, the first thing you want to do is obviously have your footage loaded in. So right here we have a nice drone shot I took at our college. It'd be preferably good that if your footage is very smooth without a lot of shaking or just like a lot of crazy uh, camera movement because the smoother the footage, the better the tracking. So the first thing that we're going to do is come over here to your tracker and hit track camera. Now, if you don't see this, you can come over here to your windows, hit workspace and go to default and it should appear on this side. You're going to also want to come over here to advanced and then click detailed analysis. And this way we're just going to get a better 3D track. This is going to take a few minutes, so we're just going to go ahead and speed this up. Perfect. So now that our 3D track has rendered out, you're going to see a whole bunch of crazy looking uh, flower, colorful flowers here. I like to call them the 3D flowers because that's what they are. They're 3D flowers that indicate uh, the 3D tracking of your footage. So if you drag around your mouse, you'll be able to see this red target, which indicates 3D surfaces, but we actually won't be using that for now. So then what we're going to do after that is we're going to come over here to this 3D camera tracker and we're going to hit create camera. And now we have a camera that is linked to all these 3D dots. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click over here in the timeline, hit new and create a new solid. And we're going to call this text. This is where our, our title text is going to be. All the 3D effects are going to be applied to in this layer. So now you can see everything just went black because it's a solid layer. This is where our element 3D plugin comes in. So if you don't have element 3D, so if you guys have element 3D downloaded, perfect, then you can apply it here. But if you don't, like I said, there are ways to crack it and get it for free. But I don't fully recommend it because, you know, just do it at your own risk pretty much. I'm pretty sure you can search around on YouTube and find some videos or, you know, forums on Reddit and just like find a way to crack it. But like I said, do it at your own risk. So we're going to type in element 3d over here and we're going to drag this over here to our text layer our solid and now you can see we have this element 3d scene set up over here and the solid is gone now it comes in our text you can go hit our text button or you can hit t so we're just going to call this please subscribe Thank you. So then what we're going to do is we're going to select everything and we're just going to adjust. I honestly forget what it's called. There's like a term for it, but it's the, the spacing in between the letters. Make sure that all the letters don't touch each other. That's a that's a big important part over here. If you guys have like a script font or anything, I'm pretty sure that would apply to you mostly. But um, yeah, just adjust this so that none of the letters are touching each other and that's going to come important later on. So then we can go ahead and drag this around to where you see fit. And voila, there we go. Perfect. So now that we have our text laid out, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here back to our solid layer that we have element 3D applied to. And we're going to come over here to our custom layers, custom text and mask. And for path layer one, we are going to click the please subscribe text that we, we made over here. This way, this element 3D is linked to this text. Now it comes from the blue part. Click scene setup and you can see it will take you into this element 3D rendering software. So if you haven't used 3D before, don't worry. Element 3D is a very basic intro to 3D rendering. A lot of people recommend Blender, but honestly, I think this is a lot simpler and just a lot easier to get going with with 3D. Anyways, click extrude. And now you can see we have our text uh, and there's a 3D object over here. And so, yeah, you can click and drag around, hold space to drag up and down. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Scroll in to zoom in and out. And so now if we hit OK, you will see our, our 3D text is over here. So we can go ahead and just turn off the visibility of our top layer. And if we play it, voila, it's tracked. It's nice and tracked. So now you can obviously see, I mean, it's not where we'd like it to be and nor is it the texture, but we have a basic 3D text going on right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the lighting is correct to our scene and everything so that we have proper lighting and doesn't look you know, just 3D overlaid. So we're gonna come over here to custom texture maps and for layer one, click your footage. 
So now our footage is applied as this environment background. And if we come back over here to our scene setup and then we click down on our, on our text model, click this material, we hit this, this environment icon right here, this picture icon, and then click environment and set this to your video. And now you can see, voila, we have a nice looking um, reflected reflected text right here and you can see if we look in you can see our footage reflecting off of our text i think one of my settings was already preset but the way you get this reflectivity is obviously come to this reflectivity icon right here and then click the intensity and you can drag this up to make it more mirror like or less or down to make it more matte and you know just pretty much play with it and so there we go we have a nice looking chrome text already looking pretty cool honestly i don't i don't know if you guys remember but there's this like rice gum diss track video diss track era but there's this like intro text thing and it was like these gold rice gum letters and i thought that was so cool i'm gonna set this to like a goldish color let's see and then there we go we have a nice reflected gold and when we hit okay you can see voila, we have some nice text implemented into our video i actually scratched that i don't like the gold at all it's it's pretty pretty hideous all right there we go. Now we have some nice mirrored text going on right here. So now it comes for the animation part. And now this is, this part's pretty fun. So if we come over here to our on our solid again and we hit the drop down on group one, and this is basically where our text is applied to. Then we're gonna come over here to our particle replicator. And we're gonna come over here to our position and this basically changes the position. And what's cool about this is if you guys are familiar with keyframing, you can actually hit the drop down uh, all the way over here on the timeline, exactly to where we are with these group settings. And you can just keyframe these these positions and everything, just make it uh, more animated. So I'm gonna change this Z position. I'm gonna come over here to our rotation. I'm gonna change some of this rotation a little bit. So now you can see we're just, we're just messing around with it. Just have fun, make it to your liking. Voila. All right, perfect. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, we can animate this rotation. So I'm gonna hit a keyframe at the very beginning. I'm gonna turn it just up a little bit. And then as it comes towards the camera, it's going to tilt at the footage. And then same with the position as well. I'm gonna keyframe the beginning position and back position and just bring this up a bit. And then we're just gonna, of course, drag this all the way over here to our end. And now you can see as this plays out, we have this nice animation with our text, but more. Of course we want more animation. This, this is pretty simple. This is just very simple and basic, but let's say I want all the block letters to rotate. So this is actually achievable as well. So we're gonna come over here to our particle look, hit the drop down on that, and then hit the drop down on multi-object and then hit enable multi-object. So now you see we have a whole new list of settings and it, this can get quite overwhelming at first, but if you look at things and you just kind of mess around with things, you'll see what they all change and everything. So now you can see all of our letters are separate and we're kind of getting all this crazy animation that we can do with all sorts of letters. It looks like, and see this is what I was saying, you always want to make sure that your, your letters are not touching each other because uh, as you can see, our A and E right here are touching, and now they move as as one one piece. So that's not too big, but you know, just for future, that's just why you want to make sure all your letters are separated. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our rotation random over here, and we're gonna hit a keyframe at the very beginning, and we're just gonna change this a bit, just so we have our letters like scrambled up. And then as the video footage comes closer, we're just gonna change this back and maybe just a little bit over. And now you can see, if we play this back, we have this nice rotation array of our letters going on here. And so this is pretty much the basic 3D effect. I actually want it just a little bit more mirrored. And so I'm gonna come, I can come back of course into element 3D and just change the reflectivity, make it more like a mirror. And, and like I said, you can just mess around with it uh, to your liking. All these settings are just really fun to have fun with and play with. But there we pretty much have a basic 3D text effect. One other thing I'm gonna add to this, I'm gonna click this motion blur icon. So we just enable some motion blur just to make it feel a little bit more realistic as things are moving. And here is the final result. 
if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope after this, you'd be able to walk away with an effect that you can use and apply for your future videos or projects. And remember, this is just a tutorial. I'd love to see you guys add on to it. Don't follow it down to the nitty gritty details. Add to it, create it in your own style, create it in your own sense. And if you made something pretty cool, feel free to add us or send it on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys recreate. Once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.